The gear mate is used to simulate the motion of connected gears, pulleys, or any components that have related rotational motion. It's important that you understand we're talking about simulation, not a true physical interaction between components. If you wish to simulate physical interaction, you must use the physical dynamics option of the move component tool. In this lesson, we'll take a look at how to apply the gear mate to a pair of pulleys as well as a pair of gears. At this point, the two pulleys are free to rotate independently of each other. To simulate a connection between them, I'll add a mate, open the mechanical mate section, and click the gear icon. The gear mate is defined by selecting two axes of rotation and specifying a ratio between them. Selecting an axis of rotation can be accomplished in several ways. You can select an axis, a temporary axis, a conical or cylindrical face, an arc such as the circular edge of this pulley, or a linear edge. In this case, I'll use the outer edges of each pulley. By selecting the outer edge, SolidWorks is able to use the diameter of each edge to define the gear ratio between them. Keep in mind, if you ever want to override this value, you can always type it into the property manager or by using the flags. To avoid confusion about which value applies to which component, I prefer to use the flags, but in this case I simply want to use the diameter of each edge, so no change is necessary. Before clicking OK, notice there's a reverse option in the property manager. By default, this checkbox is clear. This results in a gear relationship. The components will rotate in opposite directions. By checking this option, the components will rotate in the same direction as pulleys should. I'll click OK, and the gear mate is added. In the next example, let's take a look at creating a gear mate between two gears. The process is not much different than the previous example. I'll add a mate and select gear. To define the center of rotation, I'll turn on temporary axes from the view drop-down menu. Once the axes are selected, I'll define the gear ratio. This time I'll enter the number of teeth on each pulley, 16 and 29. I'll click OK, and the gear mate is complete. Rotate the gears to make sure the direction of rotation is correct. If you have to make a change, just edit the gear mate and clear or check the reverse option is needed. Keep in mind this is only a simulation. Gear teeth are not actually interacting and may in fact be overlapping.